Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Going to be giving you my predicted 11 for Manchester United's game against FC Sheriff at Old Trafford in the Europa League. So I'm going to go with the usual formation 4 2 3 1. Uh, the man between the sticks, David De Gea. Uh, David De Gea, of course, was in goal in Man United's 1 1 draw with Chelsea. His distribution was quite poor in that game. Uh, didn't really have much to do. Uh, David De Gea is Manchester United's number one goalkeeper. Uh, right back, Diego Delo. Uh, to Delo's credibility, he's enjoying a good season. He has been impressive in a lot of games. He's featured in every game this season. He's our first choice right back under Eric Ten Hag. He was also our first choice right back under Rangnick. So reflecting on that, no way back for Bissaka. Um, and Wan Bissaka was out with injury not so long ago. Uh, the two centre backs, Harry Maguire and Lisandro Martinez. Um, I'm expecting Harry Maguire to come in for Rafael Varane. Uh, Rafael Varane came off injured in the draw with Chelsea. Uh, Varane went off the pitch in tears. He picked up a thigh injury. It said Varane is likely to miss the first World Cup match. Um, Harry Maguire, um, I can't remember the last game he played for Man United, he had an injury not so long ago, um, he played in Man United's first two league games didn't he, he played in the 2-1 home defeat to Brighton and he started in the 4-0 thrashing of Brentford. Uh, Lisandro Martinez, um, he's enduring a very good season, he's made a massive impact since he come to Manchester United. It'll be interesting to see how he plays alongside Harry Maguire. Lindelof's an option as well at centre-half, but I don't think he'll start this game. Left-back, I'm going to go with Terrell Malassia. I think he will come in for Luke Shaw. Terrell Malassia has played quite a lot of games this season. Uh, Luke Shaw, of course, played in the 1-1 draw with Chelsea. Uh, don't forget he got the assist for Casemiro's late equaliser and he had a chance in the game that went way wide. Luke Shaw's been impressive in his last few games to his credit. But yeah, I think we'll go with Malassia. The two centre midfielders, I'm going to go with Casemiro and... Scott McTominay. Uh, as you all know, Casemiro rescued a point for Manchester United. Against Chelsea, he scored an injury time header. And it was Casemiro's first goal for the club. And you can see how much it meant to him by his celebration. Uh, Scott McTominay. Uh, revert back to the last game in the Europa League he scored in the 93rd minute of stoppage time against the Morning Nicosia so he saved Man United from humiliation uh, a lot of McTominay's appearances now come from the bench Um, obviously, Fred is an option in the centre midfield. Uh, he may start this game, but I think it will be Casemiro and Scott McTominay. You know, Fred has played quite a few games alongside Casemiro. Um, Eriksen is also an option as well. Um, the attacking midfielder, I'm going to go with Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, of course, played against Chelsea. He played in the 2-0 win against Tottenham, and I thought Fernandes played very well against Tottenham. Obviously, he did score Manchester United's second goal. It was a right-footed curled effort. 
on the right wing, I'm going to go with Anthony. Anthony, of course, played in the 1-1 draw with Chelsea. Um, he had some good opportunities in that game. He also had some good opportunities in the 2-0 win against Tottenham. Um, Anthony has scored three goals for the club so far. Man United got Anthony for 100 million euros. On the left wing, I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford. Uh, he'll retain his place. Uh, Marcus Rashford, of course, played in the 1-1 draw with Chelsea. Uh, should have scored in that game because he had several chances. Rashford's enjoying a good season to his standards. You know, he just needs to be more clinical in front of goal. As you all know, Marcus Rashford's future is in doubt. There's other options on the win as well. There's Jaden Sancho and there's Anthony Alanga, but I think on each flank it will be Rashford and Anthony. And up top, I'm going to go with Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, like I updated you yesterday, it said Cristiano Ronaldo is back in the Man United squad for the FC Sheriff clash. Uh, not so long ago, Ronaldo... Arrived at Carrington for showdown talks with Eric Ten Hag over his Man United future. Ronaldo has missed Manchester United's last two games. Um, obviously, he was dropped from the Man United squad for Chelsea. And Ronaldo played no part in the 2 0 win against Tottenham. Don't forget, Ronaldo stormed down the Old Trafford Tunnel before full time. And obviously, after that, uh, Eric Ten Hag did say he would deal with Ronaldo. So the last game Ronaldo played was the 0-0 draw with Newcastle and he had a controversial goal ruled out in that game. Ronaldo scored his 700th club goal in the 2-1 win against Everton at Goodison Park a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm hearing that you know Ronaldo's interested in a return to Italy. Napoli are interested in Chelsea are interested in Ronaldo. Uh, yeah. And Martial's an option as well up top. Um, I think Martial has now returned, but I do think Ronaldo will start ahead of him. So that's how I think Manchester United could line up tonight against FC Sheriff. You know, this is Manchester United's fifth game of the group. So far, Man United have played four games in the group, won three out of four. Uh, obviously, Man United won away at FC Sheriff 2-0. Uh, obviously, Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 1-1 draw with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Um, FC Sheriff, uh, they lost their last game 1-0. Uh, they are top of their league. They are from Moldova. Uh, their manager is Stepan Tomas. Uh, Manchester United's next league game is West Ham this weekend. Now, as you all know, Manchester United are close to agreeing a deal for Michael Edwards. Uh, Michael Edwards is a former Liverpool sporting director. He enjoyed around 11 years at Liverpool and... You know the news regarding Edwin van der Sar not so long ago. Edwin van der Sar dismissed talks of becoming Manchester United's director of football. He's been linked with that director as well for quite some time. If van der Sar came back to Man United, he'd be reuniting with Man United because Edwin van der Sar is the former Manchester United goalkeeper. He was at Man United for six years. He was with us from 2005 to 2011. Uh, Man United got him from Fulham for around two million. When he was the United goalkeeper, he won four Premier League titles in the Champions League and that. Um, Edwin van der Sar is obviously now the CEO at Ajax. Well, he's been the CEO at Ajax since 2016. So there you go. And obviously, you know, Eric Ten Hag is the Manchester United manager. Um, 
Eric Ten Hag does need time at Man United. Um, obviously, this is his first full season as Man United manager. And Ten Hag knew when he'd taken over the reins at Man United that he's had big expectations to exceed. Ten Hag's expectations this season will be to guide Man United to a top four finish. And if he can get as a top four finish, I'd underline that and say that's a good first full season. If he was to win a trophy as well, that would be even better. Man United have not won a domestic trophy since 2017. There has been games this season where I do like the way Eric Ten Hag's approached them. Um, but there's also been games where he's got decisions wrong, but I've not once prejudged him. Uh, Ten Hag's been the Man United manager now for, what, a good three, four, five months, is it? He replaced Ralph Rangnick earlier on this year. He's under contract with Man United till 2025. There's an option of an additional year. And he's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Uh, not so long ago, Ten Hag got named Premier League Manager of the Month. Revert back to when Ten Hag was at Ajax, he did very well because he won every device titles, he won Dutch Cups. And revert back to 2019, got Ajax to the semi-finals of the Champions League and he developed the young players well. Um, obviously, we've got Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren at the club. Obviously, Eric Ten Hag recommended them in. Um, unfortunately, the Glazers are still at Manchester United. Um, obviously, the Glazers have been a massive problem at the club for a long time. And for a while, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned the club for 17 years. So, they've taken over Man United in 2005. Uh, the other week, don't forget, he did say that the Glazers don't want to sell Man United. That's what Sir Jim Ratcliffe said. Because Sir Jim Ratcliffe did admit that he would have bought Man United if the club had been up for sale. Uh, the Glazers had actually set a price if they were to consider selling the club and it was £9 billion. Obviously, we've got John Murtaugh at the club and Richard Arnold. And earlier on this year, Sir Alex Ferguson came back to Man United in an advisory role. And obviously we've got Benny McCarthy at the club. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do. Consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.